up guys welcome back to another weekly vlog um a quick topic i wanted to talk about um it sparked off of the uh, last video i had uh, made if you haven't watched it feel free to go back i'll put a little thing right here to uh you can click it after this video if you want to go back to watch the uh, last video i made um actually it's not the last video i made it's the video i made about how to get sponsored um it was on that i got a message from that and he said that he has a visa uh, this buddy of mine I call him buddy of mine, I know him on IG, I mean, I mean, I'll see why I wouldn't call him buddy. Um, he says that he has a V6, and people just tell him to save up and buy a V8, but he can't really afford a V8, but he wants to work on the car he has now, because he loves it. And you know what, people are always going to talk shit, no matter what you have. Let's clarify this now, like, I have a V8, and I have a car that some people would love to own, and I also have a car that people would never want to own. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what you do or what you buy or what you have or, or whatever it might be, there's always going to be someone that's going to have something to say about your car or your shoes or your phone, whatever it is. And this just goes with life. The people are always going to have something negative to say because they're just people. That's just what it is. They just always have something or like you always have their input when, you know, no one really cares about their input because you got the car for yourself. You built the car for yourself. I mean, I drive a car that, you know, gets a lot of likes on Instagram, but there's also people that comment, you know, that's an ugly ass car, that's a fucking horrible ass diffuser. You get what I'm saying? No matter what you do, there's always going to be haters, so don't even worry about them, just kind of like block them out and, and just use, and if anything, use them as motivation just to build a sick ass car, and don't worry about anyone. If you have a V6 and that's all you can afford, then that's all you can afford. If you have a V8 and that's all you can afford, that's what you can afford. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, everyone's in such different steps of life, wherever you're at. And if you have a V6 and you're young and shit, that's, that's huge. Especially if it's in your name, that, that's huge. You don't, don't, don't let these guys downplay just because it's not the top of the line shit. Because technically, this is not the top of the line shit. I didn't get a Z28 or a ZL1 even. I have a 1LE, you know, and it is a great car and it's, I love it. But, you know, people are always going to have something to say. And that's how I want to start this uh, vlog off. Because I get hate every single day. I get people fucking comment. And some people will tag, or, or, or attack me in some bullshit. Or someone will be like, oh, this fucking fat ass, how's he getting his car? I mean, do you think I really pay attention to that? Like, I was 580 pounds, like, three years ago. I got down to 370, and I gained, like, 65 pounds after that. But I'm still smaller than I was freaking down near in high school. You, you call them, you know, people call me fat, all that childish stuff. That don't phase me because guess what? You're watching my YouTube channel. You're on my Instagram. You get what I'm saying? So someone's always gonna have something to say, whether it be positive or negative. But you just gotta like you know, just just zone them out. It's always a pissing contest. I built my car. I I built my car. I love my car. I love driving my car every single day because I built it for me. I didn't build it for anyone else. I didn't I didn't hit up a whole bunch of people like, hey, what should I do to my car next? How can I do this? How should I do that? No, I, I saw something on a car, I tweaked it my own little way, and then I built it. You know, so if you have haters, if you're, if you're discouraged because people are telling you don't do this to your car, fuck them. At the end of the day, fuck them, because they're not paying your car payment, they're not paying your insurance, they're not putting gas in your car, they're not doing any of that, but just talking. And that's all it is at the end of the day, is talking behind a computer screen, uh, behind a phone. And because 99.9% .9 of these people say whatever they say on social media sites will never say to your face. A lot of people said some fucked up shit to me. But when I see them at a car meet, those motherfuckers go ghost. They disappear. They're like, oh, I didn't say that. Like, they act like bitches. And excuse my language, but it's just real talk. You know, if it's easy to talk shit behind a computer or a phone or whatever that they might be but it's harder to say to someone's face because they might get their ass whooped and i have no problem whooping someone's ass if they really were down like that and said some stuff to my face but uh, not one time has anyone ever been down enough to say to my face not once i've been in this car scene for a very long time not once so shout out to you for building the car that you want shout out to you for you know building the car that you love and you know don't worry about them and i mean that's pretty much it fuck them at the end of the day who are they they're so irrelevant to your build or your life it's it's funny you know let them hate and just keep doing you yo i gotta say 
and let me know in the comments if you feel the same. I feel like <clears throat> there's less rattle in the car now. I mean, obviously, that only that little part is dynamated. I haven't done the bottom, like the floor where my back seats were. But I already hear like a little difference and my brakes are still squeaking like crap. There. So, well, since we're here at BP Auto Sound and they want to walk through my car, um, let's do it. All right, so starting off with... Those are my R1 rims. Oh, wow. Idiot. Those are my R1 drill to solder rotors running, of course, Brimbo brakes and RSR uh, 20 by 9.5 in the front. Those are some of my sponsors, and you know, they also give horsepower. Don't forget about East Sticker DD horsepower. All right, so don't forget about that. There's my crazy engineering front splitter. Um, amazing thing. Ama Let's see if we get this on footage. <laughs> my whole car. My whole car is shaking. It's a really good, uh, really quality built piece. And then also I'm gonna show you some stuff that I'm pissed off with my car. That was my fault actually. That was my fault, someone hit my car. I don't know who did it, they're an asshole. And you know one thing too, so they wanna know about my seats. So these are the Corbu FX, I believe ones. All right, I noticed some things I did forget. I do have the bar back here. Um, so normally some people, they do uh, keep their regular seat belts, but I just went 100% badass <laughs> and I gutted out everything. Um, I forgot to go through some of this stuff at BP Auto Sound. I was looking at the video. I'm actually editing it right now, editing, editing it. So I did want to um, clarify and show you guys, you know, some of this stuff before the video is over. So I'm going to add it now. Um, my back is gutted. Don't mind the beats by Dre. So it's uh, fully gutted. There's no back seat at all. You know, there's bars. This is why he had to go through the trunk and he couldn't go through the front because, as you see, there's a bar here. So I do have the four point straps. I do have the um, bar. I do plan on putting a roll cage in it, but obviously there's not one right now. Um... So this right here is what I was talking about, about peeling off. Um, I think it is because my thigh's hitting, because that side is perfectly fine, maybe because I get out on this side. And it's all one seat. So with these brackets right here, so if you notice, let me see, let me scoot back a little bit. Don't mind some mess in my car. So I had to get my bracket custom made because when I put my seat in where the passenger seat is, that's where my seat was supposed to be. But see how my belly works out, it wouldn't work so because of that we, we had to um extend the brackets so mines don't they don't slide they don't move there there they don't come out at all you can see the difference right here that you'll be able to see how far mine back is compared to my passenger seat i'm going to extend the passenger seat back a little bit more too because my friends are uncomfortable but i haven't done yet because it cost me like 100 bucks and the way my bank account set up it didn't work out like that right now. So yeah, so I just wanted to add that in here also. And also too, it is US spec, so it's a wider seat because I'm a wider guy. And that right there, it hits my door. And so you'll notice there's like a, a little, it's like, it's like indented in. They're comfortable, I enjoyed them. I enjoyed going to Vegas, you know? And I'm just doing this one shot, so I'm not, you know, editing any of this. I'm just gonna go try to make it, wrap it up though. So of course in the back that, Wonderful diffuser that everyone loves or hates. So that's my diffuser, also made by Crazy Engineering. In the rear, I'm running RSR 20 by 10.5s and Toyota 315s R888s. And then in the trunk space here, hello, what's up, man? So, let's see, I got the cool badge, one of the bags. Yeah, drink it through. Oh, are you, oh, you going that way? I'm going through. Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> Boom. There's my camera for vlogging. And here's my system that BP Auto Sound did, which I'm here right now. And then those are two tens, JL Audios with one Alpine amp. And there's supposed to be another one right there, but the one my bank account set up is just not there right now. <laughs> Let's see. So you can see my original color was white. Oh, my bad. I'm on his way. Sorry. Good, I'm an asshole. I'm, I'm an asshole. 
They fucking send the call here, now when call, nobody call about King, right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mercedes. I like how they always do that. Well, oh, then I got the cool recon stickers on the side. Shout out to recon. They really helped me out when my motor messed uh, blue and um, the, the headers and all that good stuff. They did my brakes. Um, I was running a uh, tune from Hillbank, but I'm, after I get this turbo, I'm not going to be running a tune from Hillbank. I'm going to either go to Cuttingham or uh, church, churches. I'm not sure which one I'm going to. I'll let you guys know. Of course, I'll be vlogging while I'm there. But that's pretty much the rundown of my car. I do have some other stuff on the other side that I don't like. So over here, this someone, this was not my fault, this right here. I came out from Planet Fitness and that was like that. So I was pretty pissed off, but I'm gonna get it rewrapped before the show's coming up. Um, I was gonna hook it up. And the people were asking about my back window. Sorry for changing my hand, my hand's tight. So there is a wrap, it's a wrap. They, were, they wanna know if it was painted, but it's not painted, it's actually wrapped. It's the same material as, of course, my car was wrapped, just not in green. I was gonna do green, but I thought black would look a lot better. So yeah, let's see, it looks a lot worse. See that, oh. See, so no cars are perfect. I can't wait to get that. I need to get a rewrap soon, but you know. All right, so you guys ready to see twin turbo supercharged nitrous LS 17.3 and a half? No, I'm just kidding. Just a regular LS3. Ah! So, if you want to see the inside of my car, I got this cool ass air raid, you know, right there. Sweet. I got this cool accent red, and then I got this lights right here that fell down. Amazing. Look at that. I just noticed that right now. Jeez. What a piece of crap show car. So I do have lights, you can't see them, but the grill lights up. And I got this cool Chevy performance thing, but that's pretty much it. That's the bay right now. There's nothing in here that's, there's this cool little leaf right here. This actually is 100% um, octane leaf. This I leave it here for good luck. I'm gonna put this right here by the, right there. But pretty much it, that's a walk through my car. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Um, I got some cool stuff, stuff a little up. I got some cool stuff coming up next week. I should be at RSR at Warehouse checking out their stuff. That's a badass V06. Um, thank you once again. I know I say it every time, but thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, and uh, let's make this page grow, guys.